And Yahya says, what are the conditions if one wants to marry a girl he has committed zina with? Can he marry her or leave her for good? First of all, zina is a major sin. And without any doubt, it takes two to tango. So we always hear them crying that a man betrayed us. He promised me to marry me. He did this, he did that. And after he got what he wanted, he ran away. So she portrays herself as the victim and the man to be the perpetrator without any doubt the man is a perpetrator and he's sinful but she's not exempted she is as sinful as he is because she's not a child she's a grown-up woman and she took that sin the burden upon her shoulders so she is as sinful as he is and we're not condoling anyone and we're not pointing fingers at anyone they're both in the same boat and they are both sinful now Yahya says if a person committed zina with a woman can he marry her the answer can be technically and can be an advice so technically speaking if they both repent and this is a condition because Allah stated in Surah An-Nur an adulteress is not married to except another adulterer or a idol worshipper a mushrik a kafir so in order for the marriage contract to be valid both of them need to repent secondly she can't be married until we are certain that she's not pregnant meaning that she has to get her menses once to prove that she's not pregnant thirdly he has to propose to her father who is her guardian and if he accepts then they can get married this is the technical advice but is it advisable just because you made a mistake a heinous sin would we demand and require that you go and cover up for this mistake with another mistake which is marriage this is not advisable you have to first look into the girl and to yourself to see if you are both compatible or not to see that whether she is worthy of getting married to or not is she a good woman would she be a good wife or is she someone who's foolish enough to maybe attempt to have another relationship and commit zina again and again and again so this is something that you have to look into and uh, Allah knows best but there's no obligation none whatsoever on you to marry her